Hey everyone, Anthony here from the Faculty of Apps with another quick tip for your Apple devices. Apple introduced the ability to use your iPad as a second display back in 2019. It's a feature that they call Sidecar. For this to work, it does require owning a fairly recent model of both Mac and iPad. And I'll link to this support document in the description below, which provides all of the details. As well as having the correct model of Mac and iPad, you must also be signed in to both devices using the same Apple ID. Bluetooth and Wi-Fi must also be enabled on both devices, and both devices must be connected to the same Wi-Fi network, although you can use a USB cable instead. Once you've ticked all of these boxes, there are a few different ways to start using your iPad as a second display. Perhaps the easiest and quickest is to simply hover your mouse cursor over the green button in the top left corner of any of the apps. And you should see this option to move the app to your iPad. You'll also have the same option in the menu under Window. Having moved your app to your iPad, you can move it back to your main screen using the same method like so. Moving apps to your iPad in this way uses your iPad as an extension of the main display. However, there are several other ways of using your iPad with your Mac, and you can access all of these options by opening Settings and clicking on Display in the menu. Here to the left of your main screen, you should see this drop down menu and your iPad will be listed as an option. If you don't see it listed here, it's likely that you haven't met those requirements that I mentioned at the start. Linking your keyboard and mouse simply lets you use your keyboard and mouse to navigate your iPad. Technically, this is not using your iPad as a second screen. It simply allows you to open your iPad apps using your trackpad or mouse, and then type text into those apps using your keyboard. If you have this option enabled in the advanced display settings, you can link your mouse and keyboard to your iPad at any time, simply by pushing your cursor against the side of your main display where your iPad is located. You'll start to see your cursor appear on your iPad screen and continuing to push through will link your two devices. To mirror or extend your display to your iPad, you want to choose this second option from the drop down menu. Now your iPad screen will change to reflect your Mac screen. By default, your iPad is set to act as a second display rather than mirroring what you see on your Mac display. You may also notice this screen mirroring icon appear in the menu bar, which provides you with several of the same options you'll find in the settings app. Your cursor should be able to move smoothly between your main display and your iPad and vice versa. If it doesn't, click on this arrange button. Here you can drag your iPad to reflect its actual location relative to your Mac. You can position it to the left or right or even above or below your display and you can also align it so that it's either at the top or bottom of your Mac screen to make it easier to navigate between the two. Clicking on your iPad will present its display settings, and here is where you can choose between extending or mirroring your Mac screen. The other options you have here is whether to show both the sidebar and the touch bar. The sidebar is this menu that you see here. These are some shortcut buttons that you might find useful, such as access to the command, control, option, and shift keys. Down here, you can undo, bring up the keyboard, and exit out of sidecar completely. Up here, you can display the menu bar on your iPad when an app is in full screen, and this button displays the dock, like so. The touch bar is similar to the touch bar that Apple introduced on their laptops a few years back, which they've since got rid of. When you drag an app to your iPad, the touch bar will display some handy shortcuts. Personally, my preference is to turn off both of these bars and have the extra screen space on my iPad. There are a number of Mac applications that let you use your iPad and the Apple Pencil as a stylus or drawing tablet. If you're familiar with using an Apple Pencil, you'll be familiar with this double tap function. And this option simply lets you use that function with your Mac applications. The other way to connect your iPad as a second display is from the control center here in the menu bar. The options you'll see here are similar to those in the settings app. Click on display to link your keyboard and mouse, or screen mirroring is where you can choose to extend or mirror your screen. 
You also have the option to enable or disable the sidebar and touch bar here too. Finally, if you're using your iPad as a second screen, but quickly want to switch to one of your iPad apps, simply swipe up from the bottom of your iPad to access your home screen. To get back to your desktop, simply swipe up and hold as you would normally do to access the app switcher. You can then choose continuity to bring up your Mac screen back into view. So that is how to add your iPad as a second display. If you found the video useful, I'd appreciate you giving me a like and hitting subscribe for lots more quick tips on all your Apple devices. And here's a way to quit all apps at once using a single key combination and an easy way to add spaces to the dock to organize your apps into groups. Until next time, my name is Anthony. Thank you very much for watching.